back to my channel. So, uh, yeah, yesterday I was supposed to upload a video. Sorry about that, guys. Yesterday was extremely busy with work and with kids. And yes, I do always post my videos on Tuesday, but there's sometimes it, there's an exception and life happens. So here we are on Wednesday. So yeah, thank you for coming back to my channel. In this video, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to make my kids for lunch today. So let's get right into it. So I have the bacon cooking on the stove, as you can see. And I'm going to start working on the pancakes. The turkey that I'm using is this uncured turkey bacon. It's okay like when you first use it, but then it starts getting this film on there and then you have to rinse it off or just get another one. I'm going to get another different type of turkey bacon because I don't like that much. And to start off with, I put some uh, mashed bananas in here. Um, I use like half a banana to put in here. I always like to put that in here instead of like eggs or whatever because, you know, it gives them extra potassium. And I use these um, pancake mixes, the protein um, Kodiak pancakes mix, which tastes awesome. So let's just go ahead and get started in here. I don't know what the name of this is that I'm making. It's, I saw it on Pinterest like a while ago. And I was like, oh, I want to make this. And I made it and the kids loved it. So I'm going to make more. Now before I put that in, I want to add, I always love adding flaxseed to any, anything that has to do with like bread or shakes or anything like that. I always like to put in flaxseed. Flaxseed is very good for digestion. I usually just pour it in there, but you can put like a tablespoon of flaxseed in there. But I usually just pour it in there, and you can't taste it, so you can pour as much as in there. You can see it, but it doesn't really have a taste. And my turkey bacon is ready to be ready to be flipped over. Flipped over. The first rule, or the first um, step in me cooking anything in the kitchen, and I I cook a lot. Um, in the kitchen because I just I, I enjoy it it's like a I don't know therapeutic I would say but I have to have the kitchen clean I cannot do anything unless the counter space is clear unless the dishes are either washed or in the dishwasher but I can't I can't do anything unless that happens and then for my pancakes look how, look how beautifully organized this is my husband did this um, yesterday and that's just beautiful. Look at that. He did such a great job. I'm so happy. This makes me very, very happy. Okay, anyway, back to the video. So, I always like to put cinnamon, like a dash of cinnamon in my pancakes. I also put in my cornmeal too. You gotta be careful with this because this pours out a lot. You don't want to put too, too much cinnamon. So, just like a couple of pinches. And then the rest, just put it in the sink and just clean it later. <laughs> and just put that back. Before I mix, well no, I'm going to go ahead and mix it now. Because I was going to turn on the, the stove before, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. And then I use silk almond, silk soy milk. If I'm out of so, if I'm out of the soy milk, I use the almond milk. But I like using the soy milk for almost everything because it has great protein in here. And since we don't drink cow's milk, the kids need that protein. It also has calcium too. Now if you're measuring this, you could put like um, two fourths cups in here of milk and just base it off the consistency that you want. And if, you do, if it's not satisfying you, just add a little bit more. And I can smell the turkey bacon and it's about ready. So I'm about to take it off the, off the skillet. And just a little a little tip. I wouldn't say pro tip because I'm not a pro. But I always start stirring in the middle and then work my way around to the sides. So I'm trying to work my way in the middle because if you just start on the sides and it could just spill out and just get super, super messy. 
And I already know that I need more milk, but I don't want to pour it just yet. I'm trying to get as much as I can. The milk that's in here is saturated all around as much as I can before I add more. So now it has that doughy texture. I'm going to add a little bit more milk. But before I do, I want to get the turkey bacon off the stove. And I want to go ahead and turn on the skillet for the pancakes. I don't know why we still have these things. Our kids are like four and seven, so they know not to play with the stove, but we just used to having it on there, I don't know. Okay, so what I always do is I take the turkey bacon off, and I'm not a fan of grease. See all that? I'm not a fan of that. So I always put it on a napkin, and then I put the napkin on top, and then I just pat it, Whatever excess oil I can get out or grease that I can get out, I try. And then I just set it aside and just let that wait. Now, for the skillet that I have for the pancakes, I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil, like tasting. Now I'm gonna try to hurry up because I don't want the skillet to get too hot because then my, my pancakes will cook too fast. Now let's get a napkin and wipe it. Wipe off the excess olive oil. And I'll put this in the garbage later. Okay, so now back to this. Let's quickly get this stirred and ready. Just gonna pour a little bit more soy milk. And stir. I want the consistency to be a little bit loose because I'm going to put the turkey bacon and some turkey sausage on the inside so I want to pour it on top and surround it with the pancake mix. Now mind you, I am not very good at pancakes. I am not. My husband, he is very great at pancakes. It always looks so beautiful and golden and just looks so, and it always tastes so delicious. It always tastes so delicious, but my pancakes, it always has like the brown, I like guess, like it's not the beautiful golden brown, it's just like the dark brown turn into the shades of like black and I was like oh my gosh like the first batch looks okay but then the second and third batch is like oh my gosh here we go okay so now we have to move quickly okay, so I'm bringing my turkey bacon back that's gonna be in the garbage I always like to clean up as I'm moving around I'm just gonna split this turkey bacon in half so it's nice and crispy and see how it's like nice and dry looking you don't see like the grease bubbles on top and they also have some turkey sausage which right here and put in like two of them all right so let's get let's do this and hope for the best oh my gosh okay so oh did i put on, only put on one eye i gotta put on both of them I typically use um, the round skillet. My husband's like, no, you should use this one. It's non-stick and it's better. I'm like, okay. We shall see. So basically, I'm just trying to make like a pancake sandwich. Then I'm gonna put turkey bacon on top like that. That, try to push it down a little bit and then just put a little bit more on top just a little bit just to cover it so it could look like it's like hidden inside and just put a little bit of this on top like the concept and the idea seems pretty cool but the execution is another story These two, I'm gonna have the turkey and turkey sausage on the inside. Okay, 
Okay, grab a turkey sausage. There, and make that too. Oh, there's a bowl in the way. You guys can't see. extra turkey bacon pieces over there but I'm just gonna leave that as extra and give it to the kids so let's let it cook um, usually it takes like probably like one like two minutes for each side to cook you know it's ready to turn over when yeah it's a little bit brown like that all right here's the flip you guys ready Is this one ready? Yeah, I think this one is almost ready. It's still a little wet on the bottom. Unless it's stuck. Ah, a little pancake on there. Just wipe that off. I mean, if this one's ready, this one's ready, right? It has to be. Oh, no, it's not ready. This needs a little bit more time. Okay, so, so far, so good. Let's flip the back. Ooh. It's looking good. Oh, no. That one's not ready. Let's try it again. I typically make waffles because they're so easy. All you gotta do is put on the press and then there you go. Usually when I, like during the weekday, when I'm making my, my kids lunch, I make my lunch at the same time, which is I make my, um, my salmon Buddha bowl. Oh, see that one wasn't so good. Look at that one. Oh, my light came off. Hold on. Let me put it back on. So yeah, look at that one. Ugh. This one wasn't like 100% ready to turn, but we, we gotta keep moving. We wanna keep it, we keep it going. So the little black spots on here is from the skillet. Did I clean the skillet? No, no. Should I have cleaned the skillet? Maybe. <laughs> but look, I still have a little brown. There's some brown on there. That's pretty, right? That's a pretty little golden brown in this section. Don't look on this side. Don't look on the base side. Look, look on this side. That's the good side. All right, here we go. Here's the flip. This one should be good. Oh, that looks so nice and crunchy. I'm okay with that. I'm happy. So, why does my light keep going out? So, I'm going to leave this on here for like 30 seconds, and then I'm going to take it off because I know it's ready to be... Um, to be eaten. This one, oh, it's okay. Same thing with this side. Like this is the nice, pretty side, and this is like the beige side. But it's it's cool. Um, let me go get the place, and I'm about to take these two off while these two cook. Okay, so I took the other two off. Now let's check on these. Ooh, there we go. The nice, pretty golden crunch. I like it. This one's okay. But this is almost kind of like how my husband has it, but this one's a little bit darker. My husband is usually like the, I don't know, like the, it's like a sunrise beautiful glow when he makes his pancakes. I, I envy that. I can never make pancakes like that. So this is the best I can do. So if it looks like this, I am happy with it because this is pretty to me. I can take that. So I'm, again, I'm gonna leave this on for another 30 seconds and then I'm gonna take it off and then it'll be ready. And also what you can do, you can always play around with pancakes and mix. You can put in blueberries, you can put in chocolate. Sometimes I'll put in peanut butter. And, and usually when I plate it, I plate it on the pretty side. 
so they can see like the pretty side. I'll show you in a second. And then um, you can put in strawberries, you can put in anything. All right, let's go over here to the plating. Yeah, let's put that on the pretty side. So while it's still, while it's still hot, what is up with this light? While it's still hot, I put a little bit of honey on top. Now, it says organic honey, but isn't all honey organic? Or maybe that's just me. Like bananas. Like they say like, oh, bananas, they have regular bananas and they have organic bananas. I'm like, which bananas go through a processing center or whatever and has like pesticides or whatever? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. And I'll put some honey on top for a little bit of flavor, a little bit of sweetness. I'll put the turkey bacon right here. I'm going to tuck that in, make that look prettier. Put that right there. And I always, always have to give out some type of vegetables. So today's vegetables are, what is up with this light? <laughs> Baby carrots. I try to make lunches look like, try to make lunches a little bit fun and different. Something for them to look forward to and also nutritious if I can. Well, I always try to make everything that we eat nutritious because that's just who I am. And then add some beautiful strawberries. I'll give them like three each since they like strawberries. Now you may think this this is like a big lunch for a seven and three year old, but I guarantee they would eat all of this. So, so here is the final plate. Mm. Oh, that smells good. Yes. Okay, so yeah, this is my video of um, making my kids lunch. Thank you so much for being on this quick little journey with me. Uh, if you're a new su subscriber, <laughs> thank you and welcome. I usually do um, hair, natural hair reviews, uh, product reviews, or um, hair for protective styles, or anything in between, such as this video. So don't forget to click like and subscribe and leave a comment. Tell me what your favorite kids' lunches are and we can sh maybe swap recipes. That would be so much fun. Or tell me what recipe you want me to make next, and then I'm always in the kitchen looking for new ideas, and I'll be happy to try them. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Push the notification button, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye!